KSL News at 6 starts now. Well, I just got, like, blindsided is what it was. And I kind of looked out the corner of my eye, like, I could see it kind of right there, kind of as fast as it, as soon as it hit me right there. Well, first tonight, a 70-year-old man is recovering after a scary encounter with a mountain lion. Yeah, can you imagine? He was hiking yesterday in the Diamond Fork area up Spanish Fork Canyon. That's when the cat attacked. He shares the intense moments with new specialist Shelby Lofton. Evan Ray Nelson said he was hiking and realized he had lost his phone somewhere along the way. So he turned back to go find it and ended up finding himself face to face with a mountain lion. If I hadn't lost my phone, I probably wouldn't have got attacked. <laughs> Just one day after a scary encounter with a mountain lion. It could have went way bad. Evan Ray Nelson is in good spirits. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling okay. Despite the cuts on his arms. That's where the claws got me on this side. And head. A little bit right here, run right on my ear. He says the cougar. That wasn't very big. Came out of nowhere. Well, I just got like blindsided is what it was. And I kind of looked out the corner of my eye like I could see it kind of right there. The 70 year old says he went tumbling down the hill. So I've curled up and I kind of grab a rock. Hit him and then just took off. Stunned by what just happened. Didn't have my high blood pressure pills or anything. I hadn't had breakfast, hadn't had nothing. <laughs> Kind of passed out. Nelson headed back to his truck and drove home. Well, my pants was ripped and I was all bloody. I had blood from everywhere. Yeah. He went to the hospital. They gave me a rabies thing in them and a tetanus shot. While Division of Wildlife Resources worked to find the mountain lion. If it has attacked a human, then by our policy, by protocol, we will um, euthanize the animal. Crews couldn't find the cat. And we still, after several hours, never did find that mountain lion. And so we have exhausted the search. But they did find Nelson's phone. Got all my pictures on it. The encounter with the mountain lion. I've seen six this year. Now this will be seven. This was too close. Will be an experience <laughs> Nelson never forgets. They're way too close. Nelson says he's expected to make a full recovery and he'll be back to hiking up in the canyon very soon. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.